this is Arthur Mix with EWKS. And in my trainings, I get asked a lot, how many shifts are the total number of shifts that this estimate has? And that gives them a feel for the duration of the project. So today I'm gonna to show you options for calculating the total number of shifts or durations for the estimate that you're working in. So here I have a typical estimate and I have you know, several crews, I have uh, you know, durations, number of shifts, and I wanna get an idea how long this project will take. And one issue that you have is you might have things happening concurrently. So if you just get total shifts, that might not be accurate. But let's go ahead and just keep it simple and let's just, first of all, look at total shifts. One place that I can go to, and it's one of my favorite places, is I go up to Estimate at the top, Spreadsheet View. Now, if you haven't used this before, this is pretty nice. It's a good feature. And what I want to do to activate this and really make it useful, I want to come down here and I want to say All Bid Items. So I see all the bid items. And now what I want to do is I want to filter so only activities with the crew, not all activities. So I'm only looking at activities with the crew. Now, to keep things simple, all I have to do is just hit schedule analysis and I get the number of shifts right here. And then I get rounded up the number of days. So I actually get two columns right here, the one rounded and then I get the exact amount of shifts. Uh, you notice also I get my production rate, my units per hour, crew hours, a lot of information here. What's cool about this screen is I can change it right here. You know, if I want to change a production, I could change it. It's live and I see the results. I can see my last change up here. Totally cool. So unfortunately, I can't hit the print button and get a sum of these shifts or these days. But not that's not fatal. All I have to do is right click and I just send to Excel. Let me just resize this a little bit here. And there's my Excel right there. And I come down here and there's my two columns, my shifts and days. And all I gotta do is auto sum and if I want the other one, that's 175, there's 160, or roughly 166. So, only takes me a second to get that number of, now, if you wanna take this to the next step, what I suggest to do is learn pivot tables where you can uh, go out and get totals on, let's say, the crew or, uh, you know, schedule or anything like that. It's a little beyond what I'm trying to cover today. Maybe I'll do another video on that. But you can see how quick that was. Let me go ahead and get out of this. Go back in. And so all I did was I just right click and send to Excel. If there's more information that you want beyond this, there's the Customize tab where you have full customization right here. Maybe you just want something a little more simple. So there's my number of shifts. And again, I can right click, send to Excel, and do my totals there. So in summary, if I go up to Estimate, Spreadsheet, and then come down here, be sure to filter it, okay? So you don't have to look at everything. You just wanna look at crews only, and then check that box right there to see all bid items. This is one method to get the total number of shifts. Now let's look at a second uh, method uh, that I like, and of course you can always just go to regular reports and, and do it there, uh, but I like these because they're quicker and they're easy uh, to access. So I'm gonna go up to Query, and then I'm gonna go to Activity Query. Here we go. You see here I do have in the total cost was I have the number of shifts here, but what I wanna do is I wanna go to my report templates and I have a template called Shifts Calculations right here. Now in this one, what I've done is I've created a template. So not only am I filtering for, um, am I filtering to see only my crews, 
but I'm also filtering for only certain crews because I know that these crews will, you know, they're not working concurrently. So if I, if I have total durations with these crews that I've checked off, then it's pretty indicative of the length of the job because some of these other things that I have would be happening concurrently. So this is, you know, I can always come and uncheck these once I have this template made. If you've never done templates before, they're very easy. Again, I'm not going to cover that here, but you can have as many templates as you want right here. And all you have to do is just click on it. The filters will come into place. I filtered for only these crews right here. And what happens with this one, you notice I've also shown the shifts because I can customize for, for the templates any of these features, any of these options right here to show. Um, so a couple options. Again, I can right click and I can send to Excel and just total up my number of shifts. Or in this case, I can go ahead and print. It's very quick. And let me resize this. Here we go. And then I'll just go to the last page. And since I have indicated this as one of my options, it will total that for me. Now, you'll notice the total is not the same as the other that I've shown because, remember, I'm filtering just for certain crews, not all the crews. Uh, so I'm more selective. And, and then I can be more accurate on you know, how long is this job going to last? So again, those are two, two ways of doing it. Uh, you can get the same information. Uh, the activities and queries are a little more fine tuned or a little ability to fine tune it because I have the ability to work with filters here. Uh, I can also work on, you know, filter with some of these other things, even report groups uh, or certain activities too, to even further define the length of the project. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope this helps you calculate the duration of a project.